Hey guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings. I am Cat, and we're in a slight bit of trouble here, since, uh, my dad's died on me. Yes? That's a bit more of a British accent, I just realised it's not Irish at all. I almost said Scottish there, I don't even know where I am. Anyway, um... Alright, so we've got another kinsman. He is, a, you know, that's fine. More of the dynasty, that's fine. So, I'm four at the moment, and <laughs> I'm four, and what is this? So I've got a bit of a problem that, uh... I'm too young to actually do anything right now, so time's gonna go fa by fairly quickly right now. Ah! Right, so, before my father died, um, his wife, my mother, was pregnant. And she has given birth to a son, who is my brother. And he is, you know, a fine lad of the age of zero. But, you know, he'll grow up to be a brother and maybe I won't have to kill him. I hope not. But he is, of course, next in line. So, the question of if the father is dead, do I, does the wife still exist? Yes. No one actually disappears in this game as far as I'm aware. They can die, obviously, but they don't ever really disappear. Alright, losing people. People die a lot, it seems. Uh, Spymaster, someone who I like. You, you're, you're, my mother. My mother will be a fine Spymaster. Also, that means she's unlikely to try and kill me. That's a promising thing as well. So if my mother doesn't try and kill me, that I call a good thing. So, we're just going to sort of chill out here. I wonder if... No, never mind. I was going to see if I could get my mother married to someone, but... Really not sure if anyone's... <laughs> if my mother is worth marrying to anyone. Is there anyone else in my kingdom that... Could be a good choice? Probably not. I don't think it's me making these decisions, like my main character at this point. Uh, Lorianne? My goodness, these names are hard to pronounce. Either way, I don't think it's my son who's making these choices. I believe it's the regent, who is my uncle. And my uncle is doing a fine job. He is my steward as well. And interesting thing, while he is my steward, I can't actually appoint anyone out from here because that's his job, and that will stay his job. I don't mind. I mean, my uncle is fairly trustworthy. I mean, he's proud and he's gluttonous, but, you know, he's just... So, you know, I'm not too worried about him. And he's got a couple of children. And one of his children has a child. Ah, okay, that was the latest one who was just born. My kinsman. Aid. But anyway, so one concern we've got is that Dublin could invade me because they've got a claim to my uh, land because they forged it, those bastards. And also, I am weak. They've got two counties, I've only got one. Likewise, my ruler at the moment is a child. This could be bad. But, let's not be too worried, because at the moment, you know, the house is growing strong. So we've got, just looking at the family tree here, so we've got a few people still alive. We've got some brothers. We're, wow, we're all sons. That's good news for my dynasty. Hang on. Why are you imprisoning my cousin? Okay, my cousin has been imprisoned by the mayor of my town. The only mayor I have at the moment, but that's unusual. I've never seen that happen. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. Oh. He was my chancellor. He was the one sowing dissent. Okay, so he was sowing dissent in Tyrone, and I guess someone just had enough of that, and the mayor arrested him for it. So that's disappointing. Who else we got? We've got our mayor. He doesn't like us that much, but he will like us a bit more when we put him into a seat of power. So he likes us at negative eight. I think that's going to change in a second. Yeah, here we go. Here's the message I was expecting. So... Basically, they've just decided to imprison him because I, he was trying to 
Uh, get him to turn against his lord. That's disappointing. So, when am I getting him back? Probably never. Never's probably a good time. Which is a shame. But, you know, he's got a son. And his son is fine. And frankly, my new guy is much better. And I think my new guy is much more expendable as well. He is! He's a mare, which means mares constantly coming back. So you can go so descent. Because, what else would I do? I mean, just we're just going to throw mares and assassins at them. Oh, okay. I've lost a lot of prestige. I lost 20 prestige due to that. But it's okay, I'm a child. I'm not responsible for my own actions. I might be responsible for my own actions. Can I betroth my self to his fine daughter? No. Because political concerns. The political concerns is if she would still have a... Uh, what's the word? A, a birth given right to that land of Ulster. And so he's a little bit afraid that if that happens, then I could invade. Which is a fair enough point. Uh, but... Sweet temptation. What are you doing down here, sir? But down here, we've still got one of my uncles who is betrothed. Uh, who... Which uncle was? I think it was this guy. Uh... Oh, you've died recently. Okay, you may have been the uncle that wanted to get married, so I betrothed you to a girl over here. But now you are dead. Okay, so my mother is concerned that she is not married. Well, okay. I will find you someone nice, mum. I will find you a nice man. Uh, that is an awkward phrase to say aloud. <sighs> not sure who, though. Don't really have anyone. You know what? No. I'm not going to, uh... Oh, but she's my spy master, isn't she? Oh, she, though, she thinks I'm pretty cool. I mean, I'm a pretty cool son, after all. At the age of six, who wouldn't be? Ah, here we go. At the age of six, children need a guardian. This is basically a teacher who teaches them skills that they know. So we are going to educate myself. And who is going to teach me in the ways of being a great and noble leader? So, they tend to take it, pass their traits on to whoever they train. So, I want someone with high diplomacy and high stewardship. You don't look bad, but you don't really like me that much. So, maybe I'll leave you alone. Uh, you are pretty good. The mayor who is currently spying. A little bit low in stewardship, and definitely low in intrigue. But, eh, everything else is alright. Yes, I'm going to be taught by the mayor of our local town. It's not the most ideal situation. I um, wonder if we can bring in someone else. Where's the button that allows me to look at everyone in the world? I know there's a button for it somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay, so right now searching the realm. Let's search everyone. Well, hang on a second. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Just a bit of interruption. My flatmate wanted the phone. Okay, so one thing I can do is I can go through other realms and see who I could perhaps bring along. Maybe invite them into my kingdom, and then they can train me. So I could try to invite this guy, but he's like, why would I move? Because everyone, of course, has uh, titles, although this guy doesn't. People have uh, claims to titles that they don't necessarily have. Um... But none of these guys do. Well, either way, people can have claims to titles, and if they've got claims to titles, then you can invite them over, and then you can start a war on their behalf. Holy shit, England, what happened to you? You have typhoid fever. All right. A lot of people dying in England at the moment. Well, that's awkward for them. So, one thing that's not happening in Tyrone is I'm clearly not going to get Tyrone by the force of... by diplomacy anymore. 
But there is another way I can get Tyrone. It's a way I don't really want to do. But it is an option. And it's an option I don't have long to do if I decide to go for it. And that is to hire a band of mercenaries. And these mercenaries will just storm the castle. They'll be... What? <laughs> okay, this is a very childish... Okay, I'll look at that in a second. Uh, so, as I ride through the empty corridors of my castle on my trusty wooden stick horse, I come across my regent, who is getting some fresh air on the balcony, with his back turned against me. So I can wound him. <laughs> or I could not wound him, do nothing, and gain 30 piety. <laughs> I mean, I might not wound him. Oh shit, I could kill him. Oh my word, that's pretty bad. Why would I... Is there any reason to kill him? Um... See, this is how this game goes. Sometimes you just get to this point where you're like, I can just kill someone for no reason. Okay, let's search the realm. Does anyone have stewardship quite as well as this man? You know what? I'm not going to kill him. I will be a good lad. Jeez, that's not a question I've ever been asked before. Would you like to kill a man or wound him? Anyway, as a child, anyway. So I can hire mercenaries for 75 gold to start off with, and then 6.5 gold per month. So, at my current amount of gold, that would give me mercenaries for two months. I would be taking this castle, I would be storming it, I wouldn't be doing a slow siege, I would just be crushing it, and I would take Tyrone. This is a risky move. It's very risky, in fact. Well, okay. You know what? Let's uh, bring you back. Cool. So clearly they're not falling for any of my shit, and Tyrone really hates me. He's furious with me. What I'm going to do is... I'm <laughs> yes, I know, I know, you hate me. Blah, 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 I'm at negative two prestige. That's bad. Oh, I'm really thinking about hiring some mercenaries. I was thinking about this all day, actually. This is what I do at work. <laughs> I think about if I should attack Tyrone. 75 gold for the hireage of the mercenaries. And then an additional 6.5 per month. If I have three months, three months worth, that should... Oh, hang on another child that likes a guardian. So he is my... of my dynasty. He's just a kinsman. He's... Oh, uh, he's the son of my cousin. Alright, well, we will educate you in combat. I don't particularly care who teaches you as long as you're taught. So this woman will teach you to be a better soldier. I will have you as being a general. I don't know. Your, your branch family, I don't care too much about you. So how much gold do I need? 75 plus... Let's just say 6, just to round out. So we want 3 months worth, that's 18, so 75 plus 18. There's maths happening here. Uh, 95, 93. In a few months I will declare war on Tyrone. I will then hire mercenaries. I will then capture Tyrone in the space of about a month, and I will fire my mercenaries. It doesn't give me any long-term strength, uh, any short-term strength, because I won't be building the buildings I need to be able to build a military force in the future, but it will give me more taxes, and it will put me in a better position, and heck, then I'll be able to claim dukedom for myself. At which point I may be able to get Ulster and this place on my side. I mean, they're not building anything either. That They've got a town palisade. Well, you know what, who cares? So, at the start of the game, there's very little building. So time is going by relatively fast, and we're about to start a very, very minor war. A war that'll be very, very beneficial for me, of course, but a minor war nonetheless. Oh, my prestige is back to zero. How nice. To be honest, this war will be over fairly quick. Okay, I have become greedy. That's fine. They're my toys. And you know what? This makes sense now what I'm about to do. I'm like, no! They're my lands! My lands! Wait, what? How can I be greedy and charitable? Okay, I was greedy and now I'm charitable. 
Well, that just completely killed my theory. Um, well, now I'm going to be charitable to the extent that I do not think they deserve to live in squalor. I think they deserve to live in the great... I think they need to be together in a, in a duchy. And to be in a duchy, they need to be under my rule. Is this charity? Not really. Do I care? Not really. Okay, next month I'm going to start the war. Oh, you've got children. Huh. Well, that would suck for you when I declare war on you. Oh, yeah. Um. I could marry my mother to my mayor? No. I could banish her. I'm not banishing my mother. Or I can just say I haven't found anyone good. Sorry, Mum. Couldn't find you a nice man to marry. I mean, come on, I'm seven. Okay, so now we're going to try something that's possibly dangerous, but I think this will work. So, oh, let's make sure the mercenary company is actually available still. They are. 75 gold. This will be a very quick war because it's going to be, you know, a thousand men against 200, and we're just going to storm the castle. Alright, so let's do this. So, the conditions for war are... I am not at war with them pre at, at the moment. Obviously that's not true. Because I can't declare war if I'm at war with them. Because we're already at war. I must have a valid Satis belly to declare war. Reason for war. No betrothals. Uh, he is independent. He holds none of my relatives hostage. None of my close relatives hostage. And I'm not bankrupt. All of these are true. Therefore I can declare war. And I will... My reason for war will be to claim this county of Tyrone. And war has started. So now we've got this little thing down here. Says who's on whose side. I never checked if he had any allies. But he doesn't. Great. But then we hire a mercenary company. The Saxon Band. This is where everything could go wrong. Okay, so I've got 17 gold left. Oh, right. Morale starts fairly low for armies. Okay. That's a mistake I may have made pretty badly. I think we'll be okay, though. Okay, so they're coming down. They'll arrive on the 8th. I'll arrive there on the 7th. That'll be fine. We're going to run into each other. And they're going to fall pretty quickly. I may have done something very silly. Okay. I'm going to see if they're going to give up now. They are not. I forgot that they don't come in at full morale. Okay, this is going to be cutting it kind of close. Okay, I'm going to attempt to siege, uh, just assault them. But morale is not falling that fast. Okay, great, this is going to be fine. Oh shit, I've got no money. No, it's fine. I've got enough money to survive the month. Just, you've got to win fast, guys. Otherwise, you could turn against me. And no one wants that, me especially. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, come on. Because if I conquer this land, then I get some money. Okay, I get... That was close. I had negative money for a second there. Mercenaries, if they're not paid, can be kind of dangerous. Because then they can either just leave, which would be bad, or what's worse, they could just uh, change sides at the last second. That's worse. Okay, so now we're attacking a church. Churches tend to have less defenses. Oh, this one seems to be an exception to that rule. In fact, they're kind of doing well. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, my guy's lost. That's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to disband... Oh, no, I do this in the right order. I'm going to raise my own militia of 200 men. I am going to march them up here. They will be there in uh, nine days. And I will fire the uh, mercenary unit. I've had lack of funds happen to me. That's okay. All that means is that my forces have low morale. But I'm not doing any crazy sieges anymore. All I've got to do is just sit there for a few days. For... <sighs> you know few months and it'll be okay. 
It'll be okay, guys. We, we are making money slowly somehow. I'm not sure how, but... It's okay. We'll make it through this together, guys. This war may have been somewhat foolish. So I'm going to... Ask for peace. Enforce my demands. My demands are he just gives up. His land. Alright, and the church is now taken over. Well, it will be in a second. Okay, with the conquest of the church we get another 8 gold. And we are a few men short to take out this next part. Seriously. Oh wait! Oh wait, no, we're just short. Men. Ah, but he's offered a surrender. What has he offered? Excellent. We have won. So, he's offered the surrender terms. The surrender terms are, I gain the county of Tyrone, I gain 100 prestige, he loses 100 prestige. I accept your terms. And the county has been usurped. Oriel now consists of two provinces, Tyrone and also Oriel. And I can create the title, Duke of Ulster. This will cost me 195 gold, and is not happening any time soon, because that is a lot of money. But we have won our first war, and we have started our victory. Dub uh, Dublin now quakes in fear as they note that their mortal enemies are now slightly stronger than they were before. Well, I see very little quaking, but if they start quaking, we'll know why. So that was probably a little more reckless than I needed to be, but it's okay. Because I am now Earl of Oriel and Earl of Tyrone. But really I'm only going to use the Oriel title because it's the most important one. And it'll be a few years before we start getting money from these guys. How long will it be? It'll be five years before we start getting money from Tyrone, but that's okay. Because when we start getting money from Tyrone, then... Are we already getting money from these guys? No, we're not. Oh, I know why we're not getting money from this guy. This guy hates me. Because someone kept trying to persuade them that, uh... I should hate their local lord. And now it's actually worked. Funny that. Okay. Let's improve diplomatic relations in Tyrone. So, talking about taxes for a moment. Taxes work in one of two ways. You get money for... If the, you get, the amount of money you get depends on how much they like you. If you don't, they don't like you that much, they're not going to give you a lot of money. Makes sense, I suppose. The other thing is the bishops have to like you more than the Pope to give you money. If they don't like you more than the Pope, then they're going to give all their money to the Pope. So I'm not getting any money from my bishops, because my bishops are dicks. That's alright. I can respect that. Dick bishops. So they like the Pope far more than they like me. But that can change. You know, I'm... As I grow older and more pious and a better gentleman, then they're going to love me more because I'm just awesome. And they'll understand this in time. But right now is not that time. Oh man, I can't wait to be the Duke of Ulster. Oh, and now I've given a kid a nosebleed by punching him in the damn face. But hey, if the kid wants to mock me, then the kid deserves to be punched in the face. And then my tr uh, teacher, uh, who is the mayor of Dundalk, said, No, don't be angry with people, that's really dumb. And I went, oh, okay. So as a child, you do tend to be quite uh, changing of your mind. You'll get a trait and then you'll lose it quite quickly again okay so my new chaplain of uh, Tyrone and the Bishop of Derry has said I am a better grand court chaplain than the other man you have and I'm like really are you and he's like I am learning 24 wow, 24 and he is only learning 19 also he has syphilis now and also yeah yeah, You don't really like me that much, though. And you're lustful. 
but at the same time, you have learning 24. How much do I need a new chaplain? You're just researching tech. Which, to be honest, tech is good. Um, oh, I haven't looked at that. I'll look at that next episode. In fact, we're just going to give him a chance. Maybe he'll die in the process. And we're going to end this episode here. It's been a very productive episode. We've captured a new county. We've won our first war. And we almost screwed ourselves over. But in having two counties, we're protected against Dublin. So I think we're doing alright, guys. I think we're doing alright. So join me next episode when we figure out where we're going to go from here. Probably nowhere. Except I was probably more of an exhilarating time waiting for my Earl to become older and do some marrying. And We're going to look at tech as well next episode, so that could be interesting. So, until next time, hire mercenaries, run out of money, win the war anyway. See you next time.